Okay guys, so before I freeze to death here, I'm going to be explaining this little test that I wanted to do today. And that is on the jet boil system. Now, what you guys are looking at is the fuel and the uh, essentially kind of thing that dispenses the fuel and creates the uh, fire for the jet boil. And one thing that I noticed with the uh, jet boil, all of their canisters, they say four season rated. So I thought it would be a really fun test to do a extreme cold test to see what exactly they mean or to see how well the jet boil fuel canisters work at extreme temperatures. Now it is, as I just showed, negative 26 out here, so it is certainly chilly. So I'm gonna let this sit out here for an hour, maybe a little bit more, and just let both components, both the part that pierces the fuel and you know makes the flame, and also the fuel canister itself, sit out here for at least an hour and just let it get real cold. Because one of the biggest things I wanna test here is to see if the canister still retains the fuel as a gas, or if that gas settles and becomes a liquid and can no longer be burned. So this is gonna be a four season test to see, and in my opinion, if the fuel canister lasts an hour at negative 26 without the fuel becoming uh, liquid or it's still retaining a gaseous state then it's gonna impress the heck out of me so it's now been an hour and a half since we first set this out here it is very cold still negative 26 so we are going to try to hook this all up and light it up and see what happens so let's do that okay Okay, let's turn this little sucker on. So immediately, I'm not hearing anything coming out of this. Usually when you light, or when you uh, start one of these up and when you let the gas go on full, you hear a kind of hissing sound because the gas, uh, the gas, uh, the gas itself in a gaseous state is escaping. But I'm not hearing any of it, but we'll give this a go. So as you guys can see, there's a flame here, and still a flame from the Zippo. Not a very strong one, <laughs> but we're getting nothing from our little, we're getting nothing from this thing. So the gas itself, and you can hear probably, is a very much a liquid at this point, and uh, it is not gonna go. So just as a test, at negative 26 degrees, uh, <laughs> these little jab oils are not for season. Now, one thing I will say, and as I was thinking about this earlier, <clears throat> just kind of thinking that this probably wouldn't work, but how it may work at four seasons is realistically, I'm gonna turn this off here, just so when next time I do this, it's not just spewing out <laughs> gas vapors, but um, one thing I was thinking about when it comes to these and why they may be more resistant to the cold is because of how you're supposed to carry one of these uh, gas canisters. You're supposed to carry it essentially within your um, actual jet boil kind of like water holding boiling unit and that unit has a little bit of insulation on it which helps keep everything inside of it warm. So even if you do come out on a negative 26 day, so long as you keep your jet boil unit together inside your backpack, the canister should still probably work because I have done some tests with these canisters, leaving them out at 26, 25 above, and they still worked just fine. So these aren't completely like the moment they get cold, they stop working, but these are definitely not extreme cold rated by any means. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this shorter video and <clears throat> if you guys are looking for something that's truly cold proof this is not quite it however I, I won't fault this system too much because fire at negative 26 is a pretty damn hard challenge so anyways guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out